in an examination of ssc 46% of students passed in maths 51% of students passed in english 15% of the students failed in both the subject and total number of students passed in both the subject is 60000 find the number of students who appeared in the examination here 46% of students passed in maths 51% of students passed in english and 15% of students failed in maths and english here combined data is for failed students so we have to find out the percentage of students who failed in maths and in english so if 46% passed in maths means remaining 100 minus 46 54% failed in maths 51% passed english means remaining 100 minus 51 49% failed in english now we have the data of failed student so let's draw the venn diagram here here this intersection is for combined students who failed in maths and english that is 15% students who failed in maths and english now you can see this 54% students who failed in maths also included in this 15% students who failed in maths and english so in order to find the students who failed in maths only we have to subtract 54 minus 15 so 54 minus 15 which is equal to 39 percentage is the students who failed maths only because students who failed maths also included in students who failed maths and english then students who failed maths only is equal to 54 minus 15 same way students who failed english also included in the students who failed in maths and english so 49 minus 15 which is equal to 34 is the 34 percentage is the students who failed english only because students who failed english also included in students who failed maths and english so 49 minus 15 is the students who failed english only now percentage of students who passed english only is equal to percentage of students who failed maths only that is percentage of students who passed english only included in percentage of students who failed maths only same way percentage of students who passed maths only is equal to percentage of students who failed english only that is percentage of students who passed maths only included in percentage of students who failed english so the remaining will be percentage of students who passed in maths and english that is both the subject that will be equal to 100 minus these three that is 15 percentage minus 34 percentage minus 39 percentage now which is equal to 100 minus 34 plus 39 73 73 plus 1588 which is equal to 12 percentage so this 12 percentage is equal to number of students who passed in both the subject that is 60000 60000 to all goes 5 times in 60 that is 1 percentage is 5000 means number of students who passed in both the subject is 100 percentage which is equal to 50000 so total number of students who appeared in the examination is 50000 so option d is your answer that is 50000